Futures and options on futures trading involve substantial risk and is not a suitable investment for all types of investors. Past results are not necessarily indicative of future results. When I use the word I in this video, it refers to what I teach in my charting course or what I author in my twice daily oral and written updates. Prices shown on charts and quote boards are in real time morning. and take into I account Steen all Oman known activities with your up morning to this point update time. update for this and Monday, the 14th of this May, 2018. And I'm late, just after 9.40 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Rather busy in the office this morning. Morning. As you can see, the stock market up, and what happened over the weekend is the president has again switched gears. Apparently, he and the president of China had some talkings, and you know, there's that large telecom company, ZTE, that we just said, no, we're not buying anything. They stopped selling handsets and everything all over the United States, military bases and so on. Well, in an about face, the president told the Commerce Department, get them back in business and do it now. I'm just making up the words, but that's basically what happened. Now the trade delegation from China will head to the U.S. It must have been that uh, with our goods stacking up on the ports there, us not allowing ZTE coming into the U.S., this thing was getting to the point with, especially with North Korea, just a, a month away, a, a summit, everybody's got to talk. And the hardball play, maybe, just maybe this was the crack and everybody's going to be able to make something go of this. So the stock market likes what it's seeing. Bonds and notes putting back on interest rate, not the fear that we had there. In the soybean market, which I don't have up here, and I'll, I will reinstate that, it's up about nine cents. The other grains are down and the hog market's up. So markets that from China were under the pressure so to speak, of worrying about tariff wars and so on, are getting something of a bid today. I'd like to see copper do better than this, though. If you're really going to get one of these situations where the world believes that there's not going to be the tariff wars and like NAFTA, things of that nature, copper will be one of those markets along with silver, platinum, palladium that tell you things are better. We don't have that quite yet. Energy prices up a little bit more today. Obviously, we still have everything in the Mideast going on. Venezuela's having property uh, taken from them by ConocoPhillips. They were able to grab on the islands about $600 million, maybe $700 million worth of goods. Uh, the ports there that uh, where, they, where the oil is stalled. So Venezuela has to pull all its ships back. That'll affect oil to a degree. However, it's just a question of when Venezuela financially goes under, as I see it. It's not a question will they, it's when, especially if the current president wins the upcoming election later in the week. In looking at the day's events, uh, I mentioned ZTE, get back to business. Uh, that turns the signal of the U.S. trade tariffs may tone down a bit. Maybe good things will happen. French GDP came out raising three-tenths of a percent on the quarter, according to the Bank of France. And the Bank of France uh, started talking about that, that they think that interest rates in the European Central Bank area are going to go up sooner rather than later, although many of us aren't quite seeing what they see. We think that first they have to wind down in September, the end of their QE buying program, and instead of it just stopping, it, we're talking a wind down. So sometime maybe 2019, the bank will go to higher rates. I don't think it's anytime soon. OPEC came out and they said the group's total output rose 12,000 barrels a day in April, primarily due to Saudi Arabia. But remember, we're losing barrels also due to uh, other factors there. So it is a net gain, and we have to understand that it did not go down. So when you look at the markets, you get a feel today, quiet, not a lot of real activity. We're going to hear news about the West Bank tomorrow as uh, certain holidays happen. If you get my newsletter, you know I wrote all about that. So it's going to turn out to pick up. Today's the lull of the week. Everything starts picking up after this. I want to remind you, oh gosh, if I can get this going, there we are, our chart of the day. And on our chart of the day, what this really covers is Price counts. You get a chart set up, be it an upside or a downside, and where might that lead the market to? You get a free chart each day. If you'd like to get on this, just give us a call. Go to our website. Try this out. It might be a service you find helpful. What a price count does is it's not a price trigger. It is not an entry point. It is an exit point. 
after another event happens. Got it? So it gives you an idea where a market might go. We've put together two PDFs with it, videos, and if you want to do them yourselves on the charting software, we provide that as well. Call my staff, sign up for it on our website. You can click up here if you're watching me on YouTube or underneath us on other websites it says click here. I'm Ira Epstein. You have a good day and I'll see you this afternoon in my other sets of videos.